What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Married to Film. I'm Ralph and this is Shamani. Hey! And right now we're at episode 4 of The Mandalorian. This one's called Sanctuary. <laughs> and we're just going to go ahead and start because I gave a long synopsis yeah, yes, last did. time. <laughs> <laughs> Previously. Where are the men? Mostly ex Imperial warlords. They wanted it fast and quiet. They'd send us in on the drop ships. No support, just us. Then when the imps were gone, the politics started. We were peacekeepers, protecting delegates, suppressing rights. Not what I signed up for. How'd you end up here? Let's well, just call it an early retirement. Look, I knew you were guilty. I figured you'd have a fob on me. That's why I came at you so hard. Yeah, that's what I figured. Well, this has been a real treat. Unless you want to go another round. One of us is going to have to move on, and I was here first. Thanks for the suit. Mm -hmm. Careful. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir? There's something I can help you with. Oh, uh, yeah. Raiders. We have money. So you think I'm some kind of mercenary? You are a Mandalorian, right? Or at least wearing Mandalorian armor. That is Mandalorian armor, right? If half of what I read is true... We have money. How much? It's everything we have, sir. Our whole harvest was stolen. Krill, we're Krill oh, farmers. Uh, and Bruce Bochka, our whole village shipped in. It's not enough. Mm. Are you sure? You don't even know what the job is. I know it's not enough. Good luck. Uh, this is everything we have. We'll give you more after the next harvest. It took us the whole day to get here. Mm. 
Now we have to ride back with no protection to the middle of nowhere. Where do you live? On a farm. Aren't you listening? Uh-oh. Ready for round two? Well, looks like they're happy to see us. Let's like. I stacked some blankets over here. Thank you. That's very kind. This is my daughter, Winta. We don't get a lot of visitors around here. She's not used to strangers. This nice man is going to help protect us from the bad ones. I don't think... They'll be fine. I don't... They'll be fine. I brought you some food. I noticed you didn't eat out here. I'll leave it here for when I go. That's very thoughtful of you. Do you mind if I ask you something? Go ahead. How long has it been since you've taken that off? Come on. Yesterday. I mean, in front of someone else. I wasn't much older than they are. You haven't shown your face to anyone since you were a kid? No. I was happy that they took me in. My parents were killed, and the Mandalorians took care of me. I'm sorry. This is the way. Let us know if there's anything you need. She said, listen here, that physique and that voice, I want to be with you, <laughs> but I need to see your face, so make sure it matches. <laughs> okay? <laughs> About 15 or 20 of them came through here on foot. Oh, they came from the trees. And something big sheared off those branches. Is that a foot? It's a foot right. PTSD. Imperial Walker. What's it doing here? This is more than I signed up for. Bad news. Can't live here anymore. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Flat out! Bedside manner. Right. You think you can do better? Can't do much worse. I know this is not the news you wanted to hear, but there are no other options. You took the job. Yeah. That was before we knew about the ATST. What is that? The armored walker with two enormous guns that you knew about and didn't tell us. Help us! Help us! You're supposed to help us. We're not leaving. Mm. You cannot fight that thing. Unless we show them how. We'll handle the ATST, but you gotta protect us when they come out of the woods, and I don't have to tell you how dangerous they are. Cara Dune here was a veteran. She was a drop soldier for the rebellion. She's gonna lay out a plan for you, so listen carefully. Oh, now there's nothing on this planet that can damage lakes on this thing. So we're gonna build a trap. She don't like the We're gonna need to dig real deep. No, he just right her here. Name is so when it steps in, it drops. The two of us will hit their camp. Provoke. Gotta bring the fight out of the woods and down to us. Who knows how to shoot? Okay. Come on, mama. Hey. She's probably an undercover ninja. Buddy, <laughs> what? Oh, girl. Oh. 
it worked. <laughs> Pack all this away in case there's ever trouble. Uh oh. You and your boy could have a good life. He could be a child for a while. Wouldn't that be nice? Girl, you just. I don't belong here. But he does. 
Well, let me kiss your hair, man. I look after him as one of my own. Go get the kids. Wow. Good stuff. She's on the stage. Who's he tracking? A kid. You know he's here. Can't stay yes. here. Then they'll keep coming. Mm-hmm. No, yes. Are you sure you don't want to escort? I appreciate the offer. But we're going to bypass the town and head right to the Razor Crest. Well then? Until our paths cross. Until our paths cross. Oh, she kicked your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. called Sanctuary. Um, that was a long pause. That was called Sanctuary. <laughs> um, so it, be, it began um, with uh, showing this, uh, this village being raided and pillaged uh, by a group. I can't, I don't know if they had a name or not, mm -hmm. but they just uh, raided and pillaged the village. Uh, the mother saved her daughter by hiding in the in, a, in the pond with the basket over him. Um, as they people from the village searched out the Mandalorian to see if they he could help them uh, the, defeat them, um, fight him off, and fight him off, and everything. But um, he he decided that he would. But he went. To, oh, first of all, mm -hmm. he was in a, in a in a bar or whatever, mm -hmm. and he came across uh, Cara Dune, who we know. We know the name now, and uh, he was tracking her. She dipped on him and beat him up, pretty much. So, yeah. but then it became cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, it was after. Well, they became cool after the fact that mm -hmm. he took the money from the village from the farmers, but not for himself. But he gave it to her to come along with them to help. Right. Um. Go ahead. There you go. Please. What. Okay, so they went to the village together, um, all three, including the baby, the baby Yoda. Um, the baby Yoda got there, and there was a bunch of kids there. He is a child, so of course he fit in perfectly. But they had to teach these people how to protect themselves, and that was the main thing of why it was called the sanctuary. They was there to protect themselves and protect their land. And he said, "Look, they gonna have to move. They can't stay here, cause we don't track the big old beast with red eyes, <laughs> and this is not lost with John Locke and them." <laughs> this is the Mandalorian. So he was like, so we got to get up. We got to go. He was like, we got to get up out of here. Um, and we got to take y'all and, and relocate y'all or whatever. And everybody was like, my grandparents died here. Right. My grandparents planted seeds here. And blah, blah, blah. We ain't going nowhere. They was like, oh, okay. Well, how many of y'all know how to shoot? Mama Bear was like. Yeah. She was tearing that pan up. She sure was. She was the only one that was doing it. Every time they went to one position to try to fight, it was like turning around the stick because they didn't have pointy in <laughs> that way. But, um, so the plan worked. They basically had to, they were trying to draw them in so that they could fight. So they wanted to protect their land. Basically, it was a circle. And they had water ponds all around. And they was like, okay, well, we're going to just go ahead and just set this trap for this big, they set it booby traps mm -hmm. for the big one. So they went into their camp, blew up their camp to make them come to them. And they did. It worked. So they were able to fight them off. And he said, well, you know what? At the end of the day, I think I'm going to let the little baby Yoda stay here because he's home here. But somebody was tracking him with a fob. Mm -hmm. Old girl came from behind that person because they was getting ready to take baby Yoda out. And she shot him. And she said, you know what? They're tracking him so he can't stay here. It's not safe. They're going to keep coming. I said, okay. So... They left. She stayed. They didn't show her again. Mm -mm. She did. They just said till our paths meet again. Yeah, that yeah. was it. That was it. 
So I don't. We don't know if she stayed. What was her name? Cara, Kara. Kara Dune, I think. Kara. We don't know if she stayed with them or not. Um, or maybe we just miss seeing her. Maybe. Because I was paying attention to the little girl, um, and her mom. So I didn't see nobody else. Because I thought the little girl was gonna jump in the in the wagon and go with Yoda. <laughs> so, but you know, that was it. That was a very good. Um, that was a good episode. He did take off his mask, but nobody's seen it. Mm -hmm. And she was about to take off his mask again when the guy was getting ready to, well, when the hunter, head hunter, was getting ready to shoot him. And he was like, no. He did say that if he does take his helmet off, he can't take, he can't put it back on. Mm -hmm. And Kara was like, so you just going to not be here drinking this shwaka? Sh sh Shvatka? Shvatka? Something like that. And, and living with this <laughs> widow and raising your kid? You're not going to do that? He was like, no, this ain't, this is not the life. This is not the way. This is not the way. So, <laughs> that was a good episode. Yeah. That was episode four, mm -hmm. right? So, we're moving right along then. Yeah. So, let us know what you guys thought of that episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Do all that. We'll see y'all next time. Yeah. Love y'all. No spoilers. Bye. Hey, wake up.